G'day everyone, Rob the Axeman here and welcome to another episode of Axeman's Fishing Adventures. It is snapper season in Melbourne. And I think it's about the 2nd or 3rd of, probably the 4th of December. Um, it's a Monday morning. It's actually quite busy down here at Carrum. Um, we haven't caught a snapper yet this season. Last time out we caught some big gummies but we still missed out on a red. So so we're hoping today to get our first snapper for the season. So we'll go out 17, 18 metres, we'll trawl around in a couple, have a have a look around in some of the spots where we've caught snapper before and um, so we can find something and see how we go. Big one, a really big one, Riley. light and an hour before sunrise so we're just having a little bit of a scoot around we've got some marks out here about 18 meters off straight out from Karen basically straight out so we're just having a bit of a sound around see if we can find something if we can find something great we'll anchor up if not we'll just hit right in the middle of all those marks where we've caught snapper before and we'll burly up and we'll throw the baits in and wait for sunrise Okay, so here we are. It is just looking like sunrise is just starting to come up. Now it's about 20 to 5 at the moment and we are about 18 metres straight out from Carrum. And we've just anchored up. Couldn't find anything on the sounder, which is quite common for us. Um, we generally don't find too much on the sounder, but we just go to our regular spots and burly up and put our rods in and hopefully they find us. So let's get these rods in. We're going to be using the uh, the fish candy products again today. We've got the um, the big squid, we've got the pillies, and we've also got the silver whiting. They're our main three, and some of those small salmon that you saw us caught in that last episode out from Mount Marker. So we'll get some fillets of those out there as well. We haven't caught one yet this season, so it's uh, it's been a bit scarce, but we haven't been on the water that much. So hopefully today's the day. What do you reckon, mate? Yep. He's pretty keen. <laughs> he's getting his rod in before his dad does. But hopefully we can get something on board and show you guys today. Alright, so second rod I've got out is going to be a snapper snatcher. Once again, 30 pound main line. I think these snapper snatchers have got about 50 pound. They're pretty thick. It doesn't seem to make much difference. So, clip on the bottom. Sink up. And we've got some pillies over there, mate. Some pillies. Put the pilchard on. I usually put it on the high one to keep it uh, away from the flathead. The flathead seem to love these. And that through there. And if you remember last time we were out, Caught that big that big gummy shark. Not on there mate, this is the cutting board part here. That's fiberglass you're cutting on. Yeah. 
Yeah, last time we were out, we caught some um, that big gummy on just a little squid strip. So from that fish candy one, we we'll just cut some rings or strips. I've just got a little ring this time. I'm just going to pin it like that. Now I like to have the snapper snatcher down the side, and I just drop it to the bottom. And then wind it up a turn so it sort of bounces and rocks with the movement of the boat. So that one. Oh, what's that mate? Nice garfish. Nice garfish. Oh, yeah. I can't. Oh yeah, there's some garfish down there. They're <laughs> right at the back of the boat in the blue light. They seem to like cool. that blue light. Hook. And I'm just going to put a um, squid ring on this one. Just pin it through the top. Right in the middle. Just like that. I've got a longer leader on this one. I like to mix it up a little bit. And this is the one rod that I've got with braid. I'm not a fan of braid, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but I've got one rod with it, so I'll use it. Let's chuck it in there, mate. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that was, um, if you can get some of those garfish in the net, Riley, it would be good for bait, mate. <laughs> I don't think we've got a rod suitable for a, a garfish today. We just brought snapper rods pretty much. Only little ones. Alright. Those rods are in, so I'm going to use a little salmon fillet on my next one. Frozen, not really hard to actually fill it. But. We're looking at just 18 and a half degrees at the moment. Now, this one's got a double snell as well. I'll make sure I pin that just through the end. rods in and it's just a matter of waiting got that first light just happening now I always like to fish the events sunrise change of tides all those type of things something, whatever it is down there, I think they're small snapper. Just put a little squid strip down on a whiting rod. It's fighting like a little snapper. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Yeah. Little snapper. Smashing our baits, absolutely devouring everything. Every bait we put down is just getting destroyed. Anyway, sunrise. We've missed the sunrise bite, the first light. Not much going on. I think we're going to have to move because we're just... Every single bait we put down is just getting ripped apart by these small, small tiny snapper. And that's what's uh, looking like in the bottom of the sounder over there. They're just small snapper. So disappointing and uh, definitely not five knots willy weather thanks again anyway I'll still be out here let's uh, see if we can do any 
better with this um, tide change about 8.30 so we've still got another couple of two and a half hours before tide change so probably have a move in that time see how we go on again there we go that's what they are little snapper they fight well yeah they'd be good on the plastic i've just got a tiny squid strip on a whiting rod down there on the bottom that's a little bit better size I think that one but I'll measure him up but I don't think he's size and he's woofed it down anyway at 25 centimeters that one So about 12 metres now off Chelsea and um, we're getting absolutely smashed out there, 18 metre mark by small fish destroying every single bait, not even seeing the bite so it's a bit frustrating. Right. Feels like a snap up, little one. It's just on a little whiting rig with a strip of squid. This one, okay. Heaps of these fish, undersize, just smashing the baits, just tearing them apart. Really ultra hungry. Soft plastic. Yeah. Oh, oh look oh. at that. And he's taking the tail off it. Look, you got no tail on the paddle. That's a snapper that's taking the tail off it. Yeah. What a tiny flathead. You gotta change that mate, you can't use that. It's gonna have no action. Muppet. <laughs> It's got the soft plastic going over there. It's a flat. Oh, he's lost it. That's a better flatty. Yeah. Let's have a look. That's a good keeper. That's a keeper. It's yeah. got decent fillets on it. Very nice. This is the. Morning sunrise bite. We didn't get anything. We missed the um, any big fish really. They're all small. They're either flathead or small snapper. They're just destroying the baits. All these small fish. That's a nice flatty. Oh, yeah, measure, him up. measure him up. So all the baits are just getting destroyed. No matter if it's pilchard, whiting, silver whiting. Um, uh, the squid, everything is just getting ripped off the hooks and uh, hardly seen. 31? Nice. We'll keep him, mate. So it's been a very ordinary morning. Uh, we've got a tide change probably in about an hour's time. Um, it's a little bit rough at the 18 metre mark. I'm just hoping the wind will drop off a little bit and I might head back out there for that tide change. I really want to drop off and head probably over to Mornington. Um, same problem when you come out from Karam, if, um, there's not a lot other than fishing for the target species being snapper. You know, unless we go down to Mount Martha or Mornington, we can fish in close for some garfish or salmon or squid or something along those lines. But over here is not so much of a variety. But uh, we'll keep, keep having a fish and uh, try and find some of these bigger snapper. Hopefully we can get onto a few of them and see how we go. Okay, so we are out of Frankston now. Frankston's just over there. 
and they're in about 15, 16 metres of water. Quite a few boats around. We've sort of gone to the edge of them and um, moved away. Struggled this morning. Haven't had a buckle as such. We've caught a few small snapper and a couple of small flathead, one decent one. And um, we're just trying something else. We were going to head out to 23 metre mark, but it's just too rough out there, too choppy, and it's a fair way to go actually from Carrum. So uh, we're going to try here off Frankston and uh, give it a bit of a crack and see if we can find some of these snapper. They are very elusive today. Um, we'll see how we go. Flatty on the soft plastic. Be careful. Got ya. Nice one. Hang him back. Nice snapper. Oh, it's very frustrating, this wind against tide. Hopefully it changes in the next half an hour. This tide change and if it runs the other way would be better. Might bring the fish on. It's been very quiet this morning. Very quiet. But anyway, we're still out here. Be a snapper. snapper. I've been burling up with some pillies and I think there's a school of them out the back. A school of them? Mm-hmm. Well, I just caught one before as well. That's a better one. Yeah. That's alright. Nice. Let's yeah. that one up. I don't think it's going to be 28, but that's alright. Yeah, very nice. So many boats, it's a Monday, and there's boats everywhere. All around us. It's just no decent snapper. That's our biggest one for the day. It looks like the wind's dropped off a little bit. Yeah. There you go. There you go, it's alright. Oh, you've been spiked already by Flatty. Yeah. Now yeah, the snapper's got you. Another snapper, I think. Yeah. No, don't even bother measuring it. <laughs> well, I've been here for the tide change and a couple of small ones. Nothing worth. Mentioning, so we're going to try and it looks like the wind's dropped off a little bit. We'll try and head off at 23 meters and see what we can do out there. I think let's go. We've just spotted something in the water, looks like a dog, looks like a TV or something. What the hell is it? I don't know. I reckon someone's trying to throw it down. Oh, like yeah. A, um, <laughs> well, maybe it's like a mini fridge or something. It's like a fridge. Yeah. That's way too heavy to haul in. <laughs> All right. So it's been a pretty ordinary morning, really. We've got a half a dozen tiny snapper, nothing worth keeping and uh, a few flatties, a couple of all right ones. But we've come out to 23 metres now, out off Mount Martha, places where we've caught snapper and gummy sharks before. Just to get away from all the boats, there's so many boats out on the water over there near Frankston. So, we've got our own little bit of water now, and we're burling up and putting the baits in. And hopefully soon, we'll have something on board to show you guys. Let's see how we go. Come out to old 23 metres and we're on straight away. That looks alright. Might be a snapper. Or it could be a gummy. Squid ring. Squid ring. See that last gummy took a squid strip. Yeah, this could actually be a snapper. I've got the um got the uh, net ready. any colour yet. It's 23 metres, it's quite deep. Yeah. Oh. You know I was supposed to get the first rod that buckled, oh. don't you? Sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. You don't look so sorry. I 
doesn't have a sharp edge it might be a gummy then those gummies were a bit like that most i'm not seeing any other rods tangled up yet <laughs> gummy, I'm sure. do i need a net smaller gummy that's all right so get him in i don't think he'll be sized but But they're here, there we go. Oh, he's alright actually. He's not too bad. Very nice. Nice little, nice little pup. Very nice. Yeah. Let me try and get it. Yeah, but his mouth just keeps closing. Gummy shark. Got nice white spots. You gotta measure it. Isn't it 65 from the last gill to the tip of the tail or something? Check on the thing. I mean he's right on size, but we're gonna let this one go. Let him go, matey. There he goes. Back down to the bottom. Very nice. So this spot out here is definitely producing some gummies. That was a nice one. So we can get a bigger one. So since we had that one gummy, we haven't had anything else really. Riley reckons he saw some garfish. We've put some gar rods in that had nothing at on this. No other real nibbles other than a couple of little floody nibbles. But cracking day, have a look at that. Beautiful. A lot of the boats have taken off now, I don't know. Not around here anyway. One guy come out and followed us out here and sat here with us for about 15 minutes and left. But... So we're going to ride it out here for a while. It's a known spot for us. And we're going to try and um, spend a few hours here, I think, just chill out. And uh, the weather's dropped off, the wind's dropped off now. So it's a nice little spot. Let's uh, hopefully see if we can catch something. A nice red a gummy shark would be good. Let's see how we go. That's big, mate. Get my head, get my head one. Yep. Where is it? Over the the thing on there. Yeah. I'm with this stuff on Can you rod me out of the way? This one? Uh, I need like that. That'd be alright. It's not big. It might be gummy, I think. Very nice one. It's got head shape. I'm hoping for a snapper, but I'm thinking more gummy. Yeah. Get the net out. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I What was this on? Uh, I think it was a silver lighting. Oh, yeah. Candy silver lighting. Mm -hmm. Could be a snapper. Yeah, it has a pretty good it's head got, shape. Got good, good, good head shape. I'm just watching these other rods as well, just watching the heads. Gummy. Gummy? Oh, snapper. No, snapper, 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 snapper. Good snapper. Oh. Come on. Good snapper. Get underneath it, mate. Good snapper. That's good what we're. That's my life. That's what we've been after all day. Hey, it's only two and a half, three kilo, but beauty. That's a good First fish. For the First for the season. 
good heavy fish. Yeah. We're just saying that we needed a snapper. Yeah. Took off like a steam train when it was hooked. Did yeah. There we go. Yeah, nice. I reckon three kilo fish is quite thick. And we're looking at 64 centimetres. Nice. There we go. Nice little fish. Yeah, beauty. Ripper. Something small if it is something. Oh, tiny flathead. Tiny flathead. Can't remember what I put on there now. <laughs> There he goes, he's going up on the surface. You hear? It's just heavy, it doesn't really have much. Oh, it's, oh. Oh, oh, it's a tiny gummy. Look at that little baby fella. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little ripper. Uh -huh. They love twisting around when they get hooked up, don't they? Yeah. Get the hooks out. Get him out. Yes. Come back when you're 20 kilos, mate. <laughs> Got no head shakes, though. Might be a banjo. Oh, it's another small dummy. Yep, another, yep, another small, gummy. small gummy. He's really wrapped up. Mm, tangled. That'll be tangles. There we go, unwrapped himself. Good to see. Beautiful little gummy shark. See you later. There he goes. Early. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. No, 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 your rod. Oh, crap, yeah. That's good fish. That's good yes. Fish. That's good fish. That's good fish. Hang on, is it got head shakes? Yeah, that's a snap. Alright, okay, good. Take it easy. This is on the mackerel. On the mackerel, nice. Only a small one, I good. Is this on, mate? Yep. Alright, do you need me to. Had a couple head shakes and then stopped for a little bit now. Is it still on? Far out. No. No way. Oh, shit. That was a snapper, mate. Don't splash around. Far out. It was on. It was on. Mm -hmm. It's a tide change now, so. Perhaps we should concentrate more on the snapper. And we don't have any more mackerels left. No, we've got several whiting. Finished. Here's a garfish. You want something fresh? I probably will. <gasps> a garfish, a big one. On Summer's Rod. Good one. Whee! Have a look. Mm-hmm. Nice one. 
makes up for the one you've used for bait. Yeah. It doesn't fit in the hole. It doesn't fit in the hole, does it? Mm. Turn the top one on? Yep. Good boy. That's big. Yeah, this will be a good fish. This is going to be a big snap, right? This was a whole Australian salmon. <laughs> one go, and went back. Came and back. Yeah, they say that, don't they? <laughs> Barge bite. He's getting a little close to this tanker. Oh, that could be going off that one. Change the tie. This turn off? Yeah, I got this one though. Big snap off. It's probably four. It's yeah. huge. It's a good size. Good second snapper for the season. Yeah. Had one Boy, go at it and then went back for back. another. And that was a whole Australian salmon. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, good fish. <laughs> Oi! Oi! <laughs> That's a good fish. It's a real pink one, that one, yeah. isn't it? It's not red, he's real pink. Yeah. Very nice snapper. Look at that. Yep. Second one for the day. Whew. Well done. We've worked hard for our fish. And as you can see, the big boat was going past and bang! <laughs> <laughs> Off it went, another rod. So, it's a nice fish. Probably four. I'd say a little bit bigger than the other one, maybe, but um, nice, really pink fish. Awesome, hey? Eh? Yep. Let's uh, whew, go get some more. <laughs> fish. Yep. I reckon it could be a gummy, actually. Do you need me to get one out the way? I'm going to get that one out the way to start with. You just worried about your rod, mate. You got head shakes? No. Oh, mm, it's pulling. I reckon it could be a gummy. A good gummy. Has it got weight? Yeah. It's got good weight. Could be still a snapper. I don't think it has enough head shakes. Wait till you get it closer to the boat. <laughs> it's still down 23 metres, mate. <laughs> If it's doing enough for a snapper. Yeah, it won't be. It'll be a gummy. Do you want to get that other rod out of the way? Nah, it should be alright. Might even be snagged with it. Oh, that's a banjo. Banjo. God damn it. Banjo Patterson. Wasted my garfish too. Uh, it looks alright still. Let's probably reuse that. Oh, Banjo Patterson. We haven't had one of them for a long time, have we? No. It was probably the one that was going around tasting all the other baits and couldn't get them in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and let him go. See you, Banjo. Don't come back. There he goes. Straight down. 
Bad luck, matey. Come on, let's get a red in. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way. Uh, is it really another banjo? I hope not. Does it feel like it? It's got a couple head shakes, but they're small. It's got some weight to it. It's bigger than the last one, yeah? It could be. It could be a better fish than what you think, mate. <laughs> a ray, maybe. Yeah. Because I can feel it. it's dug into the ground. Get it out. There you go. Yeah, I reckon it's a banjo again. It's on the garfish again, so it probably is. It's the bigger one. Hey, mm -hmm. what's going on there? Oh, cool. That's the one that had the salmon on it. And it's all gone? Yep. And the hook's gone? Yep, it's been bitten through. Shark. Teeth. Yeah, it looks like a banjo or a stingray. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did it shake, the head shake though? Yeah, that, that was a big head shake. This could be a big gummy again. Could be. Or is it another big snapper? Well, I'm hoping you get a snapper. This could be another big gummy. It's still... It's gone. Got no colour yet. There it goes again. Whoa. Wait a minute, is that a snuffle? Can you see colour? Snapper? It took off though. It's really like off here. Another banjo Patterson. Excuse another garfish, it doesn't matter. Come back. You gonna get a red one soon? Hopefully. It's still on? Yeah, it's still on. It's a marlin, that one's jumping. Get him in. Oh, get him in. That's a big fat one. Get him in. Oh. That's a better one. I thought he came off. That's a really good one. Jeez Louise. Woofed it down. That's a cracker. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should get my other rod out. <laughs> Right There's some bigger his, ones around. Right down oh, he's his, doing deft twirls, that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right down his gob. Oh, well. Let's get it out. Ooh, what is that? You just crap all over you? Mm -hmm. You're having a good day, are you? Hey? Look at that. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so we've had a pretty good session over here. Um, pretty much off Mount Martha, in between Mount Martha and Mornington, at that 23 metre mark. A couple of nice snapper and a gummy and heaps of garfish and had a really good little session but um, we fished sort of two hours after the, uh, the low tide so we're going to head back over towards Carum now because that's where we launched from and we'll set up there and fish the high tide and uh, after that we'll go in and have a look at the Christmas lights through Patterson Lakes. Let's see how we go.
huge. I'm not sure. It's gone. It was, was a huge it? salmon. Salmon. Huge salmon. <laughs> oh my god, that was the hugest salmon I've ever seen. <laughs> Might have that. It jumped and got off. Yeah, it jumped off out of the water. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> I need to get back out there. That was huge. There you go. What was that on? It's just a squid tentacle. <laughs> oh, yes. He finally got one on a soft plastic. No, I put on a small hook. He put on a hook with what? Uh, a bit squid. of squid. Yeah. And he finally got himself a little tiny snapper. As the sun's going down. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Ah. There he is. Nice little snap snap. <laughs> Tiny healthy little baby. It's gone. Bye bye. Say something? Oh yeah, must be a little pink pink. A little pink pistachio. Just to finish the day. <laughs> little pink pink. So that's what you get when you see that on your sounder. You see all that little activity. Six, seven meters of water. It's these little fellas and they are ravenous. They smash your baits, they tear them apart. They last 20 seconds and they're gone. But good to see the system's healthy. So we're just about done for the day. We've had a little swim in there at the beach and we've caught some great snapper and some gummies and heaps of garfish. So probably a couple of episodes out of this uh, trip today. Just going to watch the sun go down and then we'll go into Patterson Lakes and we'll have a look at the Christmas lights. Until next time, stay safe on the water. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.